So, I'm, I'm Dr. Madrona. I'm from psychiatry. And medicine is um, done with you. They're ready for you to move somewhere, either home or to psychiatry. So, that's why I'm here to see what's going to happen next. So, uh, all I know so far is that your name is Janet and you're 31 years old and you had, you had an overdose of effects are mixed with alcohol. So that's all I know. Can you tell me more? Like why, why I did that? If you know, I mean, if, if you can make sense of it. Well, I just, I'm just tired of it all, mm -hmm. you know, and I knew that, uh, once I started drinking that night, I actually checked my um, my pill bottle to see how many I had earlier on, and I just kept thinking about it and thinking about it, and finally, I don't know how many beers I had, maybe eight, nine, maybe, and then finally I just, just took the rest of the pills in my bottle. And where were you when this happened? I was at home. At home. And, and where's home? Down on 5th Street. Okay. And, and who else lives at home? Well, I have a roommate. Um, we work at the uh, same restaurant together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But she was at home. Okay. She was you working. Alone. Yeah. And, um, and what's, what's your reserve? Kichuan First Nation. It's, oh. um, about, I don't know, two hours northeast of here. Okay. Two and a half hours. Uh-huh. And who's your mom? Susan. Gray. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And who's your dad? Well, my dad's dead. Oh. So, um, he died when I was six. Oh, my. His name was Frank. How did he die? He was um, drunk, and uh, they think that um, he uh, fell out of this boat. And um, they actually didn't know where he was for probably about a week. Everybody was looking for him. Everyone in our community, RCMP, and uh, finally they found him in the water. Mm. So that happened when you were six? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, how many of your family still live on the reserve? Um, my mom and my sister. And uh, then I have lots of cousins and aunts, mm -hmm. uncles. Mm -hmm. But my brother lives in town too. Your brother lives here? Mm -hmm. Do you have other relatives in, here in town? Mm -hmm. I don't see them very much though. I'm kind of. They do different things than mm. I do. What do they What do they do? Well, one of my cousins is at school, mm -hmm. and um, but a lot of them, I don't know. I think they really just frown upon me. Mm. I guess my choices. Mm. So I just I don't really bother to go around them too much. Would they? I mean, I see them like. You know, like if I'm at home, mm -hmm. you know, because if everybody's around. Like last summer at a funeral, I saw them. I talked to them, but yeah, I don't really need to hang around them. I have my own friends. Do they make you feel bad? Or do they put you down? Or say Not things? to my face, but I hear from other people things that they say about me. I see. Like what would they say to other people? Oh, it's that I'm a waste of space and... You know, I don't care about my kids. Just things like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and where are your kids? My son, he's, um, he lives in town with my brother and my brother's wife. And uh, they've got their own family. And, um, 
So he's been living with them for the last few years. And my, my daughter, um, I, uh, I don't know where she is. She'll be 10 next month. Wow. What happened? Well, uh, she, um, a children's aid worker came and, um, and, uh, I was passed out and, um, she was just a baby. So they, they took her and they put her in foster care mm -hmm. and, um, they told me that uh, if I got my life together within a couple of years that I could have her back. But um, I didn't meet their, uh, what they wanted me to do. And uh, she, she's she been adopted mm. out to a different family. What did they want you to do? They wanted me to go into a treatment center. Mm. And, um, and I went and I tried, but I didn't want to stay there. So I just left. And so because you didn't complete the treatment, they... Mm -hmm. They said that I wasn't um, meeting the requirements. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, what, what happened to the, to the children's father? Well, I'm not sure who my daughter's father is. Um, but my son's father, he's around, like he lives in town. Hmm. Does hmm. he see his boy? I think sometimes, mm -hmm. but, um, like he won't talk to me, but mm. my brother said, you know, sometimes he'd see him places and. Hmm. And how often do you see your son? Well, not very often, but I mean, I. Sometimes I go see him, but I just have a hard time being around him because I feel like I, I, like I'm uncomfortable, you know, mm. like I don't have, I can't, I don't feel like I can hold him or hug him because he just looks at me like he doesn't really know me. So I don't see him very often. Mm. 